Keep a growth mindset. Uh, learn from your own mistakes. Be willing to admit that you've got room to grow. Um, even the best teachers can keep growing and keep improving. Um, also keep a growth mindset with your students. Keep in mind that uh, learning is a process and that with proper time and feedback and encouragement, students can be successful. Every student can be successful. All of them. Everyone. Um, I would say the sky is the limit. That don't be afraid to try new things. Um, it's taking me 10 years, but I'm definitely seeing the benefits of trying new things out and like I've been so supported by Susan, the instructional coach, and Adam, the principal, of just like, yeah, give it a try, see what you think, and that's been really awesome, and I feel extremely fortunate to have that. So if there's something kind of outside of the box that you want to try, just go for it, and um, it's very well received and supported, I feel like, in our district, and um, that's something that I really feel fortunate to have here. <laughs> um, I would say, first, don't be afraid to ask for help. I've worked in this district for nine years at two different levels, elementary and secondary. And what I love about this district is everyone is willing to help and we are first and foremost here for the students. So don't um, not ask a question that you don't know the answer to because the students are gonna be the ones that suffer. So ask for help because everybody here is willing to help and everybody's been there before. So don't be afraid. I would say my best advice would be don't be afraid to try new things in your classroom. Um, or make changes during the year or even just ask the kids like what works for you what doesn't work for you because they know really what works best for them um, don't be afraid to ask questions there is a great support system here and there are people here to help and I haven't felt this year like anyone's expected me to just know something I always felt like there was someone there that was ready and willing to help if I had a question. Yeah, I would say don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask your PLC. Don't be afraid to reach out to other teachers in the district, even if they're not at your building. Um, find something that you like, find someone that you want to collaborate with and reach out and seek out guidance and assistance. And sometimes you might not even know that you need that extra helping hand until it's right there in front of you and you have it and you're like, wow, why wasn't this here all year long? So finding those connections that you can make and then use them to um, help improve your teaching and enhance your classroom every single day. Um, my advice would be to really focus on doing one lesson the best that you can every couple of weeks um, so that you don't feel like you're burning out over making every lesson perfect every day. Um, and then as you start to build those up um, and get more experience with it, it comes easier and easier and easier. Um, so don't expect that you're teaching small groups or um, teaching the most inquiry-based lesson every single day starting in September. Um, that stuff will start coming later in the year. Um, number one, kids are great. And if you allow them to be creative, they can do really amazing things and it will um, almost always amaze me what they come up with. So let them be creative and then uh, trust your gut. So if something seems um, like a really awesome idea, try it and see how it goes. You can always do better the next time. Yeah. Um, I found that trying new things and experimenting in the classroom is very much encouraged. Um, there's certain benefits to a more traditional classroom setting, but I, the teachers that I've talked to that have you know, taken a risk and, and tried something new, whether they've decided it was a bad idea on the whole or they've come up with a new way of teaching, um, I think both situations, they've taken something important to make them a better teacher. Um, and I think it's through taking some of those risks that you learn what's best for kids and you know, what maybe it wasn't working that you were doing before. Um, taking those risks really you know, can, can show a lot of growth for teachers over a very short period of time. I would say take it day by day. Um, I, someone gave me the advice the summer before I started, don't look at the curriculum too in depth this summer. A, it's Waukee, things are gonna change, so you're gonna have to go with that change anyways. And um, 
too, just in terms of all the great things we do at Waukee, you'll get there. You can't conquer everything your first year, and that's, that's okay, but I think the thing that made me feel most safe about that is being able to rely on my team. I had a team that, and I still have a team that I felt like I could rely on to help pick up the things that I just wasn't catching on yet, because there's just so much in your first year. Be friendly, have a smile on your face, be honest with your students. Um, that's what I try to do. My advice to your walking teacher would be don't stay in your room. Go and meet your gen ed teachers. Develop good relationships with anybody on your team, whether it's your color PLC or if it's your administration, your associates. They are your support system and they are what is going to keep you be wonderful throughout the whole school year. I don't know, I guess I would just say <clears throat> like enjoy being in a in a district that really celebrates the opportunity to try new things, to take risks, to um, implement things in your classroom that you might have thought about doing but weren't really confident in doing, um, and taking advantage of instructional coaches and all of the support they give you as you're, you're trying things that you might not have tried in the past.